Hi Libra, this is Trudy. I'm getting ready to do your love reading for September 2016. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about the psychic network, that pink flag that you'll see on the Virtual Tarot site. What is that all about? I want you guys to join the network, please. You are the network. And what the idea here is, I used to say would be, but it is now. I've had a lot of people ask me, what is this? What are you doing this for? Um, this is a profile uploader that I speak to. So if you go to the site, you will see register up at the very tippy top of the site. There's a register and a login area. Please register to become a reader. This reading profile uploader is really so unsophisticated, I have to say, <laughs> that, um, which is a good thing, that it's free. And it's basically a way, not unlike eBay, for you to upload your wares, which will be your psychic gifts, and uh, create a donation-based platform for yourself, uh, completely outside of the purview of virtual tarot. So that means that when you do a reading, you will be paid directly by the person that you do a reading for. So think of it kind of as a place to practice your gifts and for others to receive your gifts. The idea would be for, in the end, for quite a few of the people out there, all of you lovely fans who are watching me right now to join in. Now, as an amateur reader, you will read for donation only, and that would mean that you would be paid a certain amount of money, um, whatever the querent decides um, beforehand. And so I believe with PayPal, you have to, it's at least a dollar or something like that. However, that is up to you and the person you are reading for. You set the rules, you do the readings, and if you are a professional reader, and we do have some professional readers on the website, if you are a professional reader and you would like to join in to that group, please shoot me an email, uh, excuse me, easy for me to say, please shoot an email to myvirtualtarot at gmail.com and we can discuss that as well. Uh, we're adding people to the channel, and these are subscribers, these are fans, these are people who are watching, they're just reaching out, and if you're, if you're ready, um, that would be terrific. I would love to add you to this channel. So this is our channel. That's how it works. All right, I'm going to do a reading for Libra. I'm very excited to do this. This is a general reading once again. And so if you would like a personal and private reading, you can go to the website. Again, we do have professional readers and the idea would be to get uh, amateurs as well. So you can get a personal and private reading. General reading here. Check the link below, astrodance.com. Pull your entire natal chart, Libra. Your moon and your Venus are the signs that you want to look for. When you do pull that natal chart, pay attention to those. Those are your relationship houses, and you will more than likely resonate with those houses. First card to come up for you, Knight of Cups. We are getting a lot of reversals this month, and uh, Knight of Cups is <laughs> it's a love card all the way. And Libra, very interesting. I've not had this card come up at all for anybody. Um, a lot of times the cards kind of repeat themselves because there's a flavor um, for all of our signs for the month. But this is unique. Knight of Cups in a love reading would signify love coming in and it being a uh, Night on a White Horse, this is all the romance associated with the fairy tales and Cinderella. Uh, however, in the reverse, this means that there could be a delay. This may, this energy may feel, um, I'm hearing this is crazy, uh, to you a little bit constipated at this point, uh, which, excuse me, spirit, but that's what I'm hearing. So it's like you want to come forward with these loving feelings, but you can't quite do it. You're being, uh, it's, it's like this energy 
isn't, um, hmm, it's not even energy. It's like, it's going to happen, but it's, you, you got to wait for it in all good time. Due time, this will occur. Okay, so if you're in relationship and you're uh, waiting for this to come forward, it will come forward, I'm hearing, in due time. It's just the timing may feel a little bit delayed or you're not getting as much of it as you would like to or you're not giving as much of it as your partner would like for you to. It's this, this it's kind of like the river of love is not flowing uh, to the target the way the target would like for the river to flow. Also, this is a sign of not really caring whether or not you're creating a peaceful household. Um, it doesn't mean that you never will, but you, that's not your highest priority if you're in relationship. Um, not uh, trying to compliment the other person, not trying to um, mediate a situation, even maybe being a little bit difficult, the situation can be difficult because there is no uh, urgency to make peace with it. That's what I'm hearing. It's not bad, it's just kind of like energy flowing through the month. So let's see what comes up. Okay, and then that's good. Okay, so the challenge is to create, and this is really good, okay. This is mundane stuff going on in relationship, in the household. Um, one way to read it. So Ten of Cups would say in the position of challenge that your challenge is to get to this happy ever after sort of fairy tale place that you would like to get to and you're already living in this situation where all of this is possible because it's a 10 and it's cups so you've been living in this situation for a while now if you are not if you are not feeling as if the person within your that you're in relationship with or someone in your home is not feeding your love language that's something that you could probably pretty easily solve um, just by through discovery and that's coming up for me too love language could be strokes touch appreciation but also gifts I'm hearing it could be gifts it could be uh, goodwill even not knowing if the other person has your best intentions at heart is also coming up at the beginning of the month not feeling fed, not knowing whether or not this person is truly in love with you or whether you're truly in love with that person and that's coming up for me as well. But the challenge is to get to the 10 now. Then again, that means you're already to the 9, right? So to get to the 10, I mean, that's not a big leap. Now we have the King of Swords. That's interesting and he is reversed. So... Swords are Libra. Libra is swords. And you are an intellectual. And so if you're in relationship with someone who is a cup, you may not get that. Let's say you're in relationship with a Pisces, a Scorpio, or a Cancer. If you don't have any of that stuff in your chart, you may not get that, which is the reason why I'm pulling this up. This, or I'm saying this, or I'm hearing this, it's because we've got this Knight of Cups reversed. So maybe there's some kind of expectation going on here um, that you're going to come to someone with all this sentiment and heartfelt feeling and that's not in your toolkit, right? Um, this is in reverse unexpectedly. And so black and white thinking, once again, um, this is if you are female and in relationship you're going to understand this person, but you're not going to like exactly how he's dealing with you. Um, he's very cut and dry, like, bleh. and so you're going to go, wait a minute. Uh, where I'm not feeling that loving feeling. What, what's going on with that? Um, there's no, this guy is cold as ice, especially in the reverse. Watch out for him. Uh, he might be, uh, I'm just going to say it pissed off. This guy is often pissed off and when when he is he looks for revenge um, so watch out for that uh, revenge in a very legal way okay so it's not as if he's gonna he's gonna stalk you or slash your tires he's gonna sue you um, or he's gonna go for your bank account 
um, he's going to do it in a way that is contractual. Okay, let's see. This is not going to resonate with all of you, but it's going to resonate with some of you. Okay, so um, if you are female, now let's go back to male. If you are the male in the situation, and this is a Libra male, could also be a Gemini or an Aquarius male, doesn't have to be you, um, but the energy is there. It's, it's pretty stormy, and um, not stormy in a way, it's like dark with lightning. Boom, you know, so this guy is like, he's going to, he's going to get you. That's kind of what I'm hearing. <laughs> he's going to get you. And that might even be you um, to yourself. So it's like you're your own worst enemy a little bit in the middle of the month. Um, that could be happening too. So watch out. Uh, and if you're in relationship, try not to become too obtuse or too, I don't know, um, overly intellectual or throwing uh, jabs over people's heads, things that uh, air kings sometimes do just to prove how smart they are. Um, resist that urge. Somebody's looking for this. Somebody is looking for you to deliver the good stuff, that good stuff. Um, so don't hold back on that, even if you um, feel as if that's something that you're not good at. Give it a shot. Last card. Oh, boy. So we get the nine here of wands. So how do we get to this place of a happy home? And that seems to be, this is the card that um, I feel is spirit sort of holding out the carrot like this is where you can go um libra this is this is happy home nirvana Me uh, mecca this is sunshine lollipops and rainbows this is where we all want to wake up every morning and uh do a big stretch and go haha i i got it i got what i wanted um how do we get there and there's a whole lot of advice here for libra um, don't hold back on sharing from the heart, okay? And that's coming up really strong for you right in the beginning. Don't, uh, you know, don't discount I'm hearing um, this, which may not seem that important, uh, tapping into the wellspring of emotion and sharing that out. That's really important. It's actually the most important thing. Uh, in order to achieve this 10. Now the King of Swords here also unexpectedly showing up. Th that's just a bit of a warning and it can mean that you have to uh, look out for yourself, like watch, watch your behavior. Um, even if you're a female out there, this energy can indicate uh, your tendencies, your tendencies in terms of career and how you aggress to the world. Um, uh, male is the aggressor, female is the receptor. So this could even mean that your career is perhaps, uh, you know, you, you might be your crutch or your, you could even be throwing that in someone's face a little bit um, and not able to become re more feminine, more feminine in the way you approach relationship. And so there's a time for career and there's a time for relationship. And that's some advice that Spirit would like to offer you. Now the very last card that comes up for you is the Nine of Wands. And I do believe this was reversed as well, but it, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, this card is really about vigilance and it's about protecting and guarding and standing as a sentry uh, and I feel as if for your family so uh, or your relationship so valuing and protecting that which you've already achieved even though there it has been a struggle it hasn't been perfect um, stand firm stand guard it is of great value is what I'm hearing do not resort to thinking you can 
create relationship with your brain because relationships come out of the heart and come from the heart and it's an exchange of of course there's always you know contract and business and all of that within relationship but really what it is is it's an exchange of emotion and it's that that's really the um, what is the word that I'm looking for um, the currency of relationship is that loving feeling emotion uh, if that stops and that's cut off uh, there's no way to deal with the relationship other than by acting out I guess uh, to get attention I'm hearing some of that as well acting out but not acting out in a physical way but sort of a brainiac way and that's not well received brainiac being career or just having to show off the brain um, again we've got that King reversed Libra you are the scales of justice you do and this is very true for all of our Librans uh, fair is fair um, it's important that you're viewed in the correct light by uh, your fellow uh, counterparts and so that's also something that I'm hearing here but overall it's a very good reading that 10 is going to get you to where you need to be I'm looking oh yeah we're fine and you the challenge is basically just to um, allow yourself to be a little bit emotional and a little bit even weepy or just wearing your heart on your sleeve um, bring in if you're a female or a male, go and get some flowers, go and, and purchase a gift, give a back rub, go to your loved one and comfort them when they need it, uh, truly from your heart, not from your head. Um, if you are looking for love, be a little bit careful um, that you don't resort to being overly confident, um, overly analytical, overly witty, <laughs> trying to get one over on the person that you're dating. Also, if someone is doing that to you, you know that's a turnoff. So that person is not your person, even though you're a Libra, even though they're a lawyer, even though maybe they're impressive. That's not uh, the person that you want to be with. This Ten of Cups is very close. Um, you've built a base already of friends and people and, and there's a network there for you already. And so please um, have confidence that this person is going to show up. Um, it may, again, I'm going to go back to that original comment. I'm sorry, but it may feel as if it's, it's you know, a little constipated and I keep hearing that. But, you know, like it's... It's kind of like, hey, I need to get moving in order to make this happen. And I'm hearing some of that as well. Um, excuse that. Spirit is that spirit. I don't know what it means, but there you go. So um, great reading for you, Libra. Um, you are close to sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. So uh, just listen to spirit and move forward. You've got a lovely future in front of you coming right up actually um, looks like toward the end of fall and Christmas so that's gonna be nice all right if you would please tune in major arcana council cards will be coming up next week that is something that I want to do for everybody because I feel like these readings are so complicated this month that major arcana council could definitely shed some light for some of our signs thank you very much